So this is the future spot for where we are going to park our schoolie. This is our little spot here, the overgrown section. The cut section is my sister's tiny house that she's working on. But we are standing directly in the fire pit. We've got some patio stones for it already. And the schoolie is gonna park right here. And we're going to have a lot of gardens. I just picked up, um, my very kind neighbor has five little baby sapple, sapling maple trees for me. So I have some of that. This is the site of the future pond that I've started digging out into hard, hard packed clay because it'll be a nice view when you're going down the driveway for walks. It'll be nice. So we're gonna have a little frog pond there. A little turnaround so that people can get by past this long, long driveway. And we need shade because if you can tell behind me, it's just a long, narrow plot. But if you can tell behind me, there's, we don't have trees. This was farmer's field, right? So I have a lot of leveling out to do, hence the pond. It's fine. I have bricks and rocks stacked up over there for another patio maybe. This is my sister's dirt for her raised garden beds. My beautiful trees. They're gonna love it here, we hope. And then a very, very sad, sad looking garden. But because this section here is so narrow, we're gonna do a garden along this side and then just ground cover along here because the farmer sprays the soybean fields. So we'll do what we can. There'll be a runway for my boyfriend's planes, RC flying planes, if he can get the last remaining one up into the air. Sister's fire pit. So that's why we're staggering ours down here to give them their privacy and so we can have our own. I mean, there'll be spillovers, of course, anyway, but it also gives us a really, really good view at the fire pit of the sunset, sorry, sunset, sunrise. But it's gonna be lovely. We just, I need to dig the pond to level the field to cut the grass, to buy the gravel, to lay down the driveway for the gravel so that we can have buy a bus, to have somewhere to park our bus, and then we can get started. This is the watering system for my sister's tiny. We are on the back side of it that we have come up with. And yeah, we're gonna, we have a hose running all the way to the house, which you can't even see for the trees. You can sort of see the roof. And then we're gonna come and water all of this. So she's not so bad, but I'm on the other side of her where there's no grass. You can see, that's where our schoolie's gonna go. And we planted some trees today. So, now we're gonna water them so they don't die. And in 35 years, we can have some shade. It'll be great in 35 years. Okay, gotta get back to We sprung a leak. So now we're using the five gallon pails to fill the bucket and holding it over. Um, yeah, I think that'll do it. 
So we just finished watering um, my little garden as well as my sister's tiny house garden. And I'm gonna give you a tour of what we've got done for where the school is going. This is the beginnings of my little garden and right next to my sister's sunflower. The hoses don't reach all this way. So it's watering can and five gallon buckets from over there. So we planted some trees. I stole some from where I was searching for the plane, just some little seedlings. We have an ash, we think. I don't know. You can see it. There we go. Ash. It's, it's doing okay. And my lovely neighbor gave us some maple trees, which I've braided together. So we're going to see how that works. Uh, so there's five of them. Two and three are braided together. We're going to keep going with that. I have a bigger ash. This was the first one we dug up. It was not fun. We didn't like it. We're hoping it's, it's got to go. There's no other option. It has to grow now. And the patio stones that we, sorry, it's an ankle turner because of farmer's field. Working on it. Patio stones for our fire pit, which will be right here. And we just keep going. The three trees are really close together. And then I don't have anything here, which is where I need stuff so that I don't see that house because that's where our bus will be parked, but we'll get there. So we have this little bonus guy that we're hoping is gonna go on the inlet from the pond that I've started to dig so I can even out the ankle breakers. And then we have another Manitoba maple and I love dogwoods, so we have some dogwoods that I stole from, again, over there. They were all trees that were um, either in here, saplings in there that have just grown wild, or they were too close to where my parents parked their cars, so they had to come up. Got a yeah. I'm rocking the um, work boots and shorts today. And then this is where, where that long line of grass is is going to be where the school bus is parked. And this will be our view. System, maybe some PVC pipes. We'll see. It'll be it'll be a thing. And then back to the garden. So that's the full circle. And this is some mint that my neighbor, the same neighbor, gave to me. Uh, planted with my green onions and the mint and the lavender from my old garden. That's sort of doing okay. And now, I'm done for the day. I'm gonna go take five on the pool deck, maybe throw on my swimsuit and go swimming, depending on the temperature. But we had a good start to today. Amongst the door for my sister's tiny house. trailer where we will be staying this weekend and every weekend that my parents will let us. And we already have some skids for the fire. So it'll be good. It is good. But my arms are done. They hurt from holding up this phone. So it was a lot of shoveling.
Cheers.